Business majors are some of the best college degrees out there in my opinion, and I've talked about why I think that is in many other videos. The stats on them are usually pretty good. They're very flexible. You can work for pretty much any company in any industry. They're basically the transformers of the college degree world. On top of that, you can combine a business degree with just about any other type of degree out there and make it more marketable. But not all business degrees are created equally. In fact, some of them are low tier trash. There's a lot of scammy colleges out there, like some of the for-profit colleges, for instance, that will Will make degrees that sound like they're business related and sound like they might be pretty good but actually they're really useless in reality now I'm doing a series now where I expose different degrees and different subjects like science stem mathematics etc where it sounds like they might be good but actually they aren't now before we get into this video one like equals one Lambo so make sure to log into all of your accounts your bros accounts your grandma's accounts log into all of them and gently tap the like button on this video. Now we're gonna start out this list with a degree that's not that bad, but in my opinion, it's just generally overrated. So number 10 on the list is going to be a general business degree. Now business degrees in general are pretty good. They've got pretty good numbers. On top of that, they're the second least regretted type of degree out of all the different types out there. But the most common regret for people who major in business is that their degree was too general. Now son, I'm not trying to make you regret your life choices, but what could be be more general than a general business degree. Now this one is one of the most popular majors out there. It's got over 25,000 graduates every single year. Now I'm using Payscale to rank these and this one's 364 out of 835. And so that's really not all that bad. It's still in the better half. So I think that says a lot about business degrees in general. Even the worst ones that I'm putting on this list still aren't that bad in many cases. Number nine on the list is going to be another one that has that same issue of being too general and it's going to be business administration. This one is another extremely common degree with over 130,000 people graduating with it every single year. This one ranks 403 out of the possible 835, so again, it's not that bad. However, I do think that they're overrated when you compare them to a lot of the other really common business degrees. Now, if you do end up getting one of these, I think combining it with a different major might be a good idea, but just by itself, boring. Swipe left. All right, so some of you might be mad here because I did say the last two degrees are overrated and I don't want to sprinkle salt on the open wound. But the next one is where we're going to get into not just overrated, but just straight up bad degree territory. So the next two on the list, number eight and number seven, are both going to be very similar. Number eight is going to be agribusiness management with 459 out of 835. And number seven is going to be agricultural business, which ranks 525. Now, these two degrees are perfect examples of uh, careers that are good. You know, you could become a manager or a, a farmer, something along those lines. However, the skills that you need to learn are not skills that you can learn in a classroom or from a book. There's a lot of different careers out there that are like this, where there's nothing that you can learn in the classroom that's going to prepare you for the career. You know, you're not gonna learn how to be a basketball player by studying in the classroom. Same thing goes with farming. The best way to learn how to be a good farmer is to go and work for a farmer, work your way up, take on more responsibility eventually you'll know how to run the whole place and then you can open your own farm yourself like what are you going to do study a detailed diagram of how to milk a cow in a book are you going to bring the cow into the classroom and have the professor milk them of course not you just go on the farm and you learn how to milk the cow on the job i think it'd be interesting to do a survey and see what percentage of successful farmers or people that work in this industry actually got one of these degrees or really even what percentage of them have a degree at all this is one of those careers where you don't really need a degree in my opinion you can just learn all of it on the job. And that's not to say anything bad about the career itself. That's just the way that it is. Now, BLS shows that most farmers don't need to get a college degree. They have a high school degree. And the way for you to break into this is to just get experience. Number six on the list is going to be business law. Now, this one could be classified as a business related degree or a law degree. But either way, it's ranked really badly 456. And you can probably guess why. It seems a little bit impractical. Like, what are you going to do with a degree like this? Business laws are going to be completely different in every single industry that you're in and whatever industry you go into you're going to have to learn the laws and the regulations anyways and unless you go on to become a lawyer it just doesn't seem to me like the knowledge that you're going to learn getting this degree is going to be practical in the real world not to say this isn't useful i think it's a good thing to know about business and how law affects business and how they work with each other especially as p diddy i mean jerome powell is printing a ridiculous amount of money that might make inflation rise to four to five percent in the future 
future. Number five on the list is going to be human resources. Now this one's probably going to surprise a few people because I think HR as a career isn't that bad. However, getting HR as a degree isn't the best option in my opinion. I need to talk to you in your office. It'll just take two seconds. The truth is you don't need to major in HR in order to become an HR manager. In fact, you don't need to major in any business degree. There are many people who end up going into HR that majored in psychology or all kinds of different studies related degrees. So because of this, I think that HR will likely become saturated in the near future because there's just not that much of a barrier to entry. So this could be a good one to potentially combine with a different degree if that's your goal to become an HR manager. However, just getting it on its own is probably not gonna be the best option. Next. Number four on this list is going to be global business. So this one really surprised me when I first saw it. It's ranked 599 out of 835. That's really not good at all. And if you look at international business, that one's ranked 186, which is pretty good. And I don't really know why there's such a discrepancy here. They seem like they're basically the same thing, right? And this is why it's so important that you always do your research before you go for any degree. So I looked up the difference between this two and apparently a global business is a company that operates facilities such as factories and distribution centers in many countries around the world. This is different from an international business which sells products worldwide but has facilities only in its home country. So I had no idea that there was a difference there but obviously having an international business degree is much better than having a global business degree. It's subtle but it makes a huge difference and this is why it's so important for you to research beforehand. So make sure you always do your research so that you can make your parents proud. Are you winning son? Yes, that. Number three on the list is going to be business leadership. This one ranks 685. It's just getting worse and worse. So with this one, they combined business and then they decided to throw a big buzzword in there, leadership. They put it together, hoping people would be interested in it. Unfortunately, buzzwords don't get you jobs in real life. Skills do. Leadership is another example of something you can't learn from a book or learn in a classroom. The only way you're going to learn how to be a good manager or leader is just by practicing in real life. Most people are going to suck when they start. That's why all your friends probably complain about their manager because it's a hard skill to learn and only few can master it. I have flaws. What are they? Oh, I don't know. I sing in the shower. Number two on the list is going to be business and healthcare management. Now, this is one that I get asked about all the time, and I'll probably eventually do a video on it. It's healthcare management. And then in this case, it's a crossover between business as well as healthcare management. And these are all pretty valuable skills overall, right? You'd think uh, putting them all together would make something that ranks pretty well. Now, I think on its own, this one is a pretty good degree to get, but the problem here, and this is where research comes in, is is a lot of the degrees that are awarded for this one are awarded by really scammy for-profit schools. These are schools that are not respected by business owners or hiring managers, and if they see that you went to this school, they're probably just gonna throw your resume in the trash. Now, I work in healthcare myself, and I can tell you the people who usually end up running hospitals and different clinics and all that sort of thing are people who are nurses, doctors, pharmacists, etc. people who have been working in healthcare. Bad things happen when you let people who don't have any healthcare experience come in and call the shots in clinics and hospitals because they don't know what they're doing. So I can see why this one probably isn't very well respected. It's also another one of those skills where you probably learn the most just from doing the job itself. Maybe if you're already working in a hospital and they offer some kind of program to teach you leadership skills and it's free, you know, they maybe even let you take some time off. Yeah, okay, sure, go for the degree, why not? But if you think you're gonna get this degree and become the leader of a hospital or a clinic and you're just running the whole thing, <laughs> that's probably not gonna happen. Number one on the list is small business management. This one comes in 703 out of 835. That is really bad for a business degree. This is the territory where you see a bunch of art degrees, a bunch of liberal arts degrees, ones that pretty much everybody knows are not going to get them a decent job. And this one is just too general and impractical for it to be a good idea. Now, every type of small business is going to have different skills that you need to know in order to run it. There's no umbrella degree that's going to tell you everything you need to know about any particular business. Even if there was, things change. In five years, technology industry could come in and change whatever industry or whatever business that you're getting into. And entrepreneurship in general is just something that you have to do in order to get good at it. Entrepreneurs say all the time that they have to do it, do it, do 
it fail over and over again before they had any success whatsoever. It's kind of like riding a bike. You can read books about riding a bike. You could go to classes and watch the professor ride a bike. You could even do, you know, online classes and get consultations from the uh, best bike riders in the entire world, the Lance Armstrongs of the world. But until you actually try to ride the bike, you're not going to know how to ride it. Entrepreneurship is the same exact way. And a lot of business degrees and business related careers are like this. And that's why you see some of them ending up on this list. Now, there's a few things that I think are especially important when it comes to business related degrees that I want to talk about. Number one thing is business degrees make great double majors. Okay, so if you're going into something else and you also want to double major in business, that can make you look a lot better. It makes you look a lot more marketable. It's much easier to explain to a hiring manager or a business owner your perspective and how you're going to make their business money. You're not just going to be someone who costs them $50,000 and doesn't actually produce money for the business if you have a business degree and you understand the lingo. It also will just help you in general with personal finance, understanding money, understanding how the world works, and maybe even if you decide to you know, start your own business later on, it'll come in handy as well. Number two is you want to focus on internships, experience, and skills. I'll be honest with you guys, First of all, business degrees have a reputation of being relatively easy and, you know, they kind of are if you compare them to, you know, engineering or some of the other math degrees. It's just the truth. They're not that bad. Not to say business majors are dumb or they're not difficult or anything like that, but it's just not as difficult as some of the other degrees. You don't need to focus too much on grades. Grades probably aren't going to make any difference whatsoever. Instead, you should just get by, get decent grades, and then focus on all of the other things that actually matter. Internships, work experience, skills that you can learn. So for instance, if you combine your business degree with some technological skills such as computer science, you show them that you're able to code stuff and you understand technology, that's going to be extremely attractive to a potential employer. If you're trying to get hired at a technology company and you show them that you have internship experience at a different tech company, that's going to be really attractive to them. Getting work experience is the same way. I don't know if you guys have ever tried to train someone that doesn't have any work experience. You have to teach them how to use the phone you have to teach them how to use the fax machine it's like man it's 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 kind of difficult and hiring managers know that that's going to be a heck of a process just to get people trained up to just a very baseline level number three is networking is even more important in business related degrees than other types of degrees and i think this kind of goes without saying but networking getting to know people in the industry you want to go into all that sort of thing that's going to open up a lot of doors for you now of course you want to make sure that you actually actually know what career you're going for, or at the very least, what industry or company that you're trying to get into. But once you know that, you can reverse engineer it and figure out what you need to do and who you need to network with in order to get into that position. Now, number four on the list is going to be something that's extremely important, especially for business degrees. And that is you want to go into an industry that has a lot of opportunity. With a business degree, there are going to be pretty much endless amounts of different industries and different companies that you can work for. Business degrees are extremely flexible and that's kind of a good thing but it's also kind of a bad thing just because they're so general. So you can work for all kinds of different companies and all kinds of different industries and you want to choose a good industry that has a lot of opportunity. Do not go into a dying one. Some of my friends are salesmen for instance and I can't tell you the difference between what kind of opportunities they have in a dying industry in terms of their commissions etc and then the ones that are in a really good industry they're getting insanely good commissions. One isn't necessarily more skilled than the other it's just the opportunity that they have because of the industry that they're in. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. Share the video and make sure to check out my other videos right here. I made them just for you.